Tonight, I learn a new move. Hope this is a mod soon. And we free our comrades from oppression. And what the f*** is this? I'll tell you what I think later. Let's start the damn thing already. Fucking awesome! So about the lullaby, oh, I should say welcome, and thanks for staying this long. In the Forsaken world, a lullaby is eternal. Also, that was all the footage she had. She was just a test subject to see if you can still die from falling. Well, for their devotion, and because I have 10 minutes to wait, I allow them to suckle off my pee pee and buy a slave. I mean rent a mercenary. After getting home, I want to play with my new toy. So I take Lacquer out for his first of his three it's hearts. It's Lacour. What? Moulemé Lacour, Monsignor. As I was saying, being Red Talon, Lacquer must work three times as hard to be liked because he only gets one third the standing rewards. I guess such is the life of a slave. I mean mercenary. Mercenary. Definitely not property bought with currency. He gives a good old fashioned with one in the stink for the first wave. Then realizing it's not worth the effort, he decides to satisfy her quickly by rubbing out the last two waves with bullets. Fuck yeah, it's hurting! Don't let up! That's one more plague heart destroyed. As a citizen, Lahore's hero bonus gives two ammo a day and is awarded his ceremonial vestments. Having too many mushrooms at the celebration, Braden thinks he's Homer Simpson. He grabs a plow and starts singing through the night. Mr. Plow, that's my name. The name again is Mr. Plow. Name again is Mr. Plow. They must have been really good shrooms because the next morning, LaCour thinks he's attacked by the ghost of SpongeBob. Though not at all daunted by the thought of Nickelodeon characters haunting him, he grabs the loot from the second heart and goes to finish his trial. We need more cowbell. Shit, that's a feral. Better stay alert. Nice dodge. After Lahore grabs what's important, he heads back to Chava's house for the eighth survivor. Yeah, yeah, to grab the eighth survivor. Look, if we're gonna team up, I need to know you got skills. What do you say? 
And now that we have six living members, we can move into the farm complex. But first, Adams, being the newbie, must kill the last heart before we can move in. Hi-ho, Cobalt, away! So he takes the people's hammer and destroys the last of the bourgeoisie. Let's watch. After the last heart falls, we can finally move into the farm complex. And I remember not to park in a space, and once again, not a single creature is in here. I even make a bunch of noise and nothing shows up. The Forsaken need a gardener. No! A marijuana farmer, but we need influence. While answering the call for Cleo, we discover a glorious sight just sitting at the diner. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. Meanwhile, we trade a doohickey for influence. Yo, Mickey, I think I found it. Okay, let me see what you got. Yeah, this looks like what the doc wanted. A lot of trouble for one little doohickey. Here's a little something for your trouble. So, uh... Make sure to grab him before he runs away so you can grab all his influence. Nice. Bong and a blitz. I wonder what's on the other horizon. I'll just turn the camera and, and oh my god, what the f is that? At first I thought it was Cecil, the C6 Sea Serpent. Yeah, I'm old. But after staring at it for a longer time, I think the computer tried to use the swine bovine mask as a cloud. What do you think? Have you seen anything in the skies? Then Sof runs up to get that beauty at the diner. He's got two thumbs and built us a sweet new ride. This guy! You take care of yourself. After helping Tressie, we finally have enough influence for our weed guy. So we roll home and give him a call. Anyone out there? Seriously, anyone? I, I will talk to anyone. I don't care how much of a loser you are. Wang. His digestive problems are okay on easy <clears throat> difficulties, but painful on higher I ones. You don't totally hate it here. 
Wang by default is the weed grower, so we should probably test him out. Plus we need some influence. After he upgrades the farms to grow weed, he sets out to help Tressy. That is, right after another trip to the bathroom. Are you ready? It could get a little... I appreciate it. I'm gonna start the extraction process. Keep your eyes open. Definitely. Shit. That's gonna slow us down. Talk to me, Tressy! I contaminated the first sample. Just keep them off me, okay? Fall back. I just need one more sample. Let that one get back up. Okay, I've got the samples I need. Wow, that was tense. Give me a hand, damn it! Sorry, coming! So after she said she'll help, she just stands there. Uh, let's talk after the Zeds are clear. That was close. Too close. Let's get moving before things get bad again. Don't get dead, okay? Hey neighbor, we found a location for our clinic, but the zombie situation is out of control. Can you help us out? Go speed racer, go speed racer, go speed racer, go! <laughs> the only Zed at the new med clinic is the one that I brought because of my car noise. Lazy bastard. I have another task for you. Details forthcoming. And that's that. Keep up the fantastic work, you. On the way home, he stops to fuel up and finds a rucksack that gives two mollies with a gallon of gas. We wait while he takes another leak. Some really excellent driving, if I do say so myself. The hammer was down, and I didn't hit a thing. Then to make sure the boon traders stay happy, he sells them some guns. Then flies home to re-up and put all the influence in the safe. Right? It has to be something physical. I mean, it's not like there are any more banking apps. And at last, he can end the day by selling some weed to the perfect strangers. Hey, Balki, what's the apocalypse like in Russia? With the day coming to a close, so does another chapter of The Forsaken. I'd give a thumb, any thumb, for more content. Do subscribe and ring the bell to be annoyed by the little red circle every time I upload or go live. Thanks so much for watching. Maybe share this with someone else that likes to watch a train wreck. That'd be appreciated. It'd help the channel.
the Google Master AI thinks you would like the video on the left. If you made it this far and have not seen the first episode, it is on the right.